Merry Christmas, Melikalikimaka. Hey, it's Carrie Steele. So, um, yeah, we're about halfway to holiday time. You know, at Coast 103.5, we do Christmas in July. Gonna hear maybe some holiday favorites in July. So, speaking of holiday favorites, we thought that maybe we would introduce you to some of our holiday traditions. And I decided um, I do meatballs every holiday. I don't know why we just do it once a year because my family loves them. So when we were all talking about what we might do to kind of celebrate Christmas in July, I thought, why don't I do the meatballs now? And then I thought for fun, I would use Beyond Beef instead of meat just to see how these will taste. I'm not a big beef eater. Uh, so I thought, yeah, well, you know what? While we're doing a little Christmas in July recipe, holiday recipe, uh, we'll try it with Beyond Beef. So we will find out together if this is gonna work or not. So this is a traditional meatball recipe that's been passed down. My mom used to do this every holiday time. We would all go to her house and we would all have to help roll meatballs. We usually would make at least 200 uh, because it's you know Christmas in July. I don't need 200. We're not gonna have a huge family celebration right now. So I'm gonna do about a fourth of the recipe. So instead of four pounds, I'm gonna do just the one. And I can already tell this consistency is really different. So the recipe calls for ground beef, um, normally eight eggs, but I'm just gonna use a couple. You can see I've got all of the ingredients here, a couple of eggs, some minced garlic, we've got oregano, parsley, Romano cheese, grated Romano cheese, and we use bread. We don't use bread crumbs. I actually usually tear up the pieces of bread. For this size recipe, I'm gonna do four slices of bread that we've already cubed. So basically, we just start to mix and get it all together. So this is my parsley flakes. I'll have the recipe up so I don't really need to tell you and have you jot it all down. Uh, we're gonna do the parsley flakes, the oregano, the minced garlic, the Romano, and through the magic of video, when we come back, it's gonna be mixed together. Actually, before I continue, I have to take this off. It was a nice touch. It's holiday time, but it's 90 degrees in July. It makes it really hot. Okay, so I've got the eggs, the parsley, the oregano, the minced garlic, mixed in with the ground beyond meat, half a cup of Romano, grated Romano cheese and our four slices of bread cubed. I do white bread, that's just what we've always done. I don't know that like it makes sense to do other flavors because I just think white bread's the best. So that's it, we did um, a teaspoon of salt, a dash of pepper, and then we just get in here and mix it up. And then once it's all mixed, we start rolling the meatballs and I'll show you that there's a very precise method to that as well. We, um, it kind of is a point of contention because people get tired of rolling them when we're doing 200, but they have to be a certain size. They have to be kind of small. And as the evening wears on and people are tired of rolling, the meatballs get bigger because they want to just get done. So I'll finish mixing and then I will show you what size of meatball we're rolling here. So the texture is definitely different with the Beyond Meat. Uh, doesn't really hold the shape as well, but it's coming along. This is pretty much the method. Put a little in your palm and just start rolling. This is the size we look for. Uh, if you get bigger than that, the issue is when you're cooking them, you're just browning them in butter in a skillet. So the bigger they are, the longer it takes to cook as well. And it's just, um, you know, they're supposed to be just miniature meatballs. So I'm gonna get these rolled up. I feel like this one's our, yeah, see, well, I was gonna say that one might've been too big. I can, I've been doing this so many years, I can just really tell when I'm starting to get too big. So I'm gonna finish rolling these. I've got butter warming up in a pan over there. We'll brown them. Then we throw a little salt on them after we take them out of the butter and uh, we'll give them a try and see how this works. I'm excited. All right, so we rolled them. We were looking at about 50 and it turns out we rolled 53. So, I think my butter over here is ready. So 
Typically, we grab them like this and walk them over to the pan and roll them in. I can tell already these may not hold their shape. Um, but again, we don't know until we make an attempt. So put them in the butter. Yeah, it looks like they're already kind of sticking together, but I'll just separate them here. Normally, you can kind of shake vigorously and break them up, but this not being beef. Um, we're just counting on the egg and the bread to hold them together, but it will, um, we'll see. Turn that up a little, get them going. And so once they brown, I scoop them out, put them on a paper towel to drain, and then we'll sprinkle a little sea salt on them and um, yeah, let them cool and start eating. Make a cocktail sauce, whatever kind of sauce you guys like. It's I do like ketchup and uh, a horseradish. And we'll see how this turns out. We'll see if we actually have round meatballs when we're done cooking. Yum. Okay, so this batch is ready to come out. I'm actually very happy. They are still kind of all in one piece. Um, I gotta be gentle taking them out though, but this is kind of the procedure. You take them out. Yeah, a couple of them maybe lost a little form, but this is the idea. Come out. And then I put the next uh, few in. See, they're crumbling a little, but they'll taste just the same. All right, we're gonna start. We're gonna put a few more in there. So they help form really well. Just whipped up a little cocktail sauce with ketchup and horseradish. And I, they smell just like as if I used ground beef, but I used Beyond Meat. Definitely different, but super delicious. Yeah. I think we got ourselves a little vegetarian meatball here, but the food critic of the house is my son, Cameron. Dude, will you just like kind of give me your... Let's see what we got here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. They look pretty tasty. Smell pretty good. Those are good meatless meatballs. All right, I caught you wait. <laughs> Akati's actually the cook in the family, so I really want to know what you make. <laughs> they're tasty. <laughs> they're good, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So they're different than a, a meatball with meat, but um, yeah, I think they're delicious. Actually, I'm gonna have another one because usually we have we do this and we have to save them until Christmas Eve when we serve them. But it's Christmas in July. Eat up. <laughs>